Welcome to the modern earthed office. There are two earthing mats in play here. One is on the desk and you can see that the desk mat will take both a keyboard and a mouse. Underneath the desk, the feet are also earthed on an earthing mat. Whichever one you use, both are equally good, as we'll show you in a minute. If you use the computer a lot and a the mouse, then as you move your hand over the pad, your fingers are making contact with the earthing pad and they're connecting you to earth to experience its benefits. We'll show you a little effectiveness test on the mat, whether you've got your fingers on it or your feet on it. The display is the amount of voltage Joanna's body is carrying from just the EMF generated in the room, from the cabling and appliances. Anna's now going to put her hand on the mat to show the change in voltage. And you'll see this drops from a value of over 8 to a much lower value of 0.17. Same effects happen when Joanna puts her feet on the mat. You will see the body voltage drop. So this is a very good test of that your system is working and how effective it is in draining the effects of EMF as they show on the body. We've explained what some of the benefits are. Now we're going to explain what is in the kit and how you connect it together. The elements of the kit are a 27 inch long by 10 inch wide conductive mat made of nitrile butyle rubber, which is non-allergenic and is in fact the replacement to latex gloves. It also comes with a connecting cable that connects from the stud on one corner and then onwards to the earthen connection. Two sides. One side is textured and allows the mouse to be used very well over it while your fingers are still in contact with it. The other side is shiny. You can use either side depending on the application. Both sides are conductive. The mouse doesn't work so well on the shiny side. One way to connect is into the earthing wire that is part of the house wiring circuit. This is done via a special adapter, of which we use two types. The, this adapter only has an earthing prong, and the other adapter has a conductive earthing prong, but two metal spikes. Either one works. Both of them will take two cables. Cables only go into one slot and they just push in and push out. The other one operates just the same even though the slots are in a slightly different position. Once you have connected into the main socket then it's just a matter of pushing the socket into the earthing outlet. This can be preferably a plug in the wall or it can be on an extension lead. It does not matter for the earthing circuit whether the power is switched on or switched off. The choice is yours. The main system is a very good and very flexible way for the earthing mat. Since you're using the earthing mat during daytime, then you may wish to use it at your computer while you're resting at night or take it to the office. It's very flexible. It is unusual for houses in the UK not to have an earthing circuit. That's the law. In some European countries, this is not the case. And there was a separate video about that. We can test that there is an earth using a very simple tester, which when we plug in, will display three lights showing. The other way of connecting is to an earthing rod system, which we will show you now next to the mat in the same way 
and the other end of the white cable connects into a socket on the rod associated with the earthing cable. The cable with the earthing rod is 40 foot long, so it'll go a long way, and the stainless steel rod pushes into the ground outside. The cable will easily go through a window which can be closed on it, since the wire inside the cable is braided stainless steel and very resilient. And the mat is also great for chilling at night. If you use it during the evening, it helps reset the melatonin cycle, which is an important cycle for making you prepared for bed, for sleeping. Normally, as the light decreases, the melatonin cycle changes to prepare us for sleep. The same rhythms are stored in the earth as in stored in day-night changes, and the Earth's rhythms are far more easily accessible. Many people have reported benefits in helping them get off to sleep just by earthing themselves for a couple of hours at night.